Welcome to day number five of the Keto Eating Out Five Day Challenge. It's the last day. My name is Jody Bunting and this is my journey to my goal weight of 13 stone two. So last week my mum lost nine pounds in five days. She put three pounds on at the weekend. Uh, on Monday we were, today we've lost two pounds. Two pounds, so 15, 12 in four days. Well done, Mum. Car is packed up. We are do off down the M1, but we're stopping for breakfast here at McDonald's. Right, so let's make our order. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Take out only breakfast names. So what we want is a double bacon and egg McMuffin. Item only, customize. So what we're gonna do is add another egg Add another cheese and add a sausage. I might actually add another bacon as well. So I've got three bacon, two cheese, two egg, one butter. Oh, I can actually minus the muffin and actually add the sausage. That is perfect. So £4.29, one bacon, extra cheese. So it's £4.25. £4.28 for one of those double bacon muffins with the extra bacon, add sausage, extra cheese, the egg and no muffin. I've got two because my mum's here. Confirm and pay. Touch. And there we have it. Just never seen McDonald's so quiet late around here on the yellow markers. I am impressed. So here it is, and check it out, look, they, they served it in a plate. So we have here the sausage, the bacon, Eggs. and the cheese, all on this. Isn't that nice? McDonald's do do good, I tell you now. This customised breakfast was 733 calories and as per the McDonald's website, each egg was 73 calories and 0 0.8 grams of carbs, bacon 106 calories, 0 0.1 grams, cheese 50 cals, 1.1, the butter 34 cals, sausage 135, 0 0.6. So as we said, 733 calories, 4 grams of carbs, but there was no fresh carbohydrates, so no tomato or mushrooms. Now looking at the ingredients list, that butter that we saw wasn't actually butter, it was liquid vegetable and dairy fat blend, so be careful and check everything. Uh, also note, we don't recommend having sausage long term, because if you look at the ingredients, there's not only glucose syrup, but also dextrose, which is sugar. So what did it save us cutting out that bread? Not only was it 25 grams of carbs, it was also 171 calories. And just check out the ingredients list. How many things were in that English muffin? Definitely a no-no. So we've just made a pit stop here in East London, Leighton, because we're picking up crazy Claire. She's coming with us this weekend. So we're here in Clacton. You can see Claire, crazy Claire's here. And we're here in the moon and stars. Weatherspoon. My mum and Keith are here somewhere, so let's go and see if we can find them. Turns out we jumped the queue, so we're now queuing to get back in.
Celebrate my mum's uh, week. She's now making fish and chips with a little bit of curry sauce. Over here we've got the rump steak with cheese and bacon, a bit of brie, an egg, some black pudding and some halloumi. And there should be a salad. The calories in my final meal were 1,214 calories, steak 538, mayo 73, fried egg 117, salad 15, cheese 125, bacon 38, black pudding 198, and the final cheese 198. Can you see the lights? Come on. No, it's, yeah, it's white yeah, now. That means it's recording. And then when it flashes, that means it's three seconds to go. Oh, no worries. That's not a good one. Sure, ma'am. Right, so that was another successful visit to Wetherspoons. Now back on the high street. Don't look at the candy flask. Don't look at those donuts. The ice creams. It's just hell being in a seaside resort when the sun's out. Ross's ice cream yeah, site here in Clacton on Sea. A closed down McDonald's. A little bit of water activity on the lake here in Essex. I reckon it's like a 10 hour. No idea. <laughs> uh, I think it's straight on, isn't it? If you and pop that in your car, that'll just arrived. <laughs> We've got a deluxe one this time. Let's have a look how deluxe it is. We were here. It was a new one, but it wasn't deluxe. This one is deluxe. So wow. let's have a look. Oh, it is quite new, isn't it? This is my we sleeping of an evening. A little table. And then the two bedrooms. Oh, great, look. A Where twin, a twin and a double. Where's the twin go? Look, here. Yeah. No. Isn't that good? <laughs> Time for a bit of sunbathing, guys. Come on, take our tops off, get those legs out. Let's get sunbathing. We also had a few more snacks. Almonds, 323 calories. Glass of wine, 80 calories. And some dark chocolate, 76 calories. In fact, if you want to see the wine video me and Claire made, it's all about this low-carb wine. See it on my YouTube channel now. Also, I took Claire out for a nice bike ride. We went round the whole of the site, 5.52 miles. We did it under an hour and we burnt 448 calories. So as I said, today is the final day of eating out keto and to be honest with you, I'm happy. I'm actually pleased because at the start of this week, I was so excited about going out and doing all these things, not doing any washing up, not doing any shopping, not doing any cooking. But do you know what? I love shopping, food shopping. And I love cooking. It's really made me realise and have a new appreciation for being able to select what you want, when you want it, how you want it cooked, how much of little things that you want. So it really has, it's really made me annoyed this week seeing these different things. And, you know, I just wished I could have a little bit more butter or that wasn't cooked quite correctly. So it's given me a new appreciation of cooking. And as you know, the last couple of months, in, in, in fact, the last four months, I've cooked everything myself and everything from scratch and all from by myself in my kitchen. Um, so it's been quite strange eating out and I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to uh, and obviously it's made me really realize as well how you know value for money it's not so good health wise it's not good though good nutritionally um, you know the, the selections were also not so good um, so for those of you who know anything about keto and low carb I've been doing clean keto um, and to get the nutrients, the micronutrients that I needed, I've had to go on to dirty keto. So this week I've been eating quite a lot of uh, processed meats like porks um, and uh, bacon, things like that. Uh, and to be honest with you, especially after the breakfast on Wednesday morning, remember when we had that big breakfast and I'm with this weather spoon yesterday, I can really start to feel it like 
you know, not quite digesting properly. And I think because I've been eating super clean, you know, my digestive system has been working, working perfectly, especially in the vegan week. Um, and, you know, I've had nothing like slowing down my digestive system and my uh, inflammatory system. And this is the reason I hate, I hate, I hate more than anything, low quality cooking oils, because it does get stuck and you can physically feel it in your, your stomach hates it and it just won't digest and you kind of get all these digestive juices coming back up and it's just it's just not very nice um so it, it's a great lesson though to learn that the the benefits and you know the the best thing about being keto as well is just how my how good my skin has been uh, and i almost feel like it is going um not as good uh, and i also feel like i'm losing my great shape as well that i was getting so it's kind of amazing what can happen in five days just from eating some really rubbish fat um, but yeah, it's been fun. It's been interesting. So that's been it for my conclusion, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. So let's get on with the final day. My total calories today were 2,426. And thanks to all the exercise, I was on target. 29 grams of carbs, 69% of fat. And although my fitness pal says I'll still lose weight in five weeks time, I just lost a pound this week, but I'm happy. A quick reminder that next week we are doing the opposite to eating out on keto. We're doing dieting on a budget. We're going to be eating lard. We're going to be eating eggs. Uh, we're going to be eating avocados. So we've got some unsaturated fats, some healthy fats, which I'm going to be really pleased to eat. If you'd like to join in on next week's five day challenge where you could also lose another seven pounds in five days, then simply go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash SB Keto and you can see the link there on the screen. Go to that group, follow instructions, download the PDF with a special shopping list, special meal plans uh, and we can go healthy and lose weight next week with less than two pounds of food per day. <laughs> Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can download my free diet plan at jodybunting.com. Please give us a like, a comment and a share.